See, one of the biggest jobs at uh, Rutley JV is uh, ever installed. We had uh, you know, up to 50 staff at any one stage down here. I think the biggest challenge was attaching the uh, structure and the, and the arrays to the roof. Uh, that took you know, several months in planning. One of the few uh, constraints that we had in the stadium were the positions where we could uh, mount a race. Um, this meant that the distances to the audience areas would be, would be vastly different. If you think about the seats that are closer to the field, they are a long way away from the, from the roof compared to the seats that are closer to the roof. So the main challenge obviously was the connection and the weight and dealing with um, dealing with the structural consultant. Uh, they sort of gave us guidelines on the max weight we're allowed to work with. And of course, we're pushing the limits with everything we did. So we went through a few different iterations of design to try and bring the weight down. Uh, so we came up with the cable suspension, the uh, strut suspension method, which gave us a bit more flexibility and a bit of adjustment in the arrays as well. Because the one thing that obviously we had to be critical on is because we had the different speakers, some to point in level four, some to level one, it's critical to get the angle 100% right. The integration of the Y and B series was remarkable. Um, we, we have a, an arrangement where uh, the Y and the V series follow a curved line. And uh, with very few adjustments, it was possible to provide an even coverage on distance differences of about 40 meters. There was a lot of challenges in getting that right. And we, we probably pushed the envelope in the time frames of getting all that in and approved and then building, because obviously they, these things don't just grow on trees, everything's completely custom made. So there was a lot of challenges around that. We employed uh, Able Engineering, who have worked, we've worked with before, to actually fabricate the array frames. Uh, and we employed ITE to help us with the physical installation. I think we got them all in and installed in, within five weeks. So we had to delay, we had to put protective material on the ground, turf protection drive a 20 tonne crane in, crane them up to level two, and then winch them up from there. So yeah, it was uh, a lot of coordination on the ground, just making sure all that happened. We couldn't keep the turf protection down for too long because the groundsman obviously needed the grass to breathe and it was hot too, so there was a lot of moving elements to get right. It's really good to have it done. Uh, the PA and the audio system in before was just a nightmare, both operationally and just the quality was terrible, inconsistent. So. Now we've got something that's really consistent, really high quality. Every seat gets the best possible audio we can provide, so it's an exceptional experience.